What's up guys? Welcome back to a very special Freaktography 1950s mid-century mansion adventure. That was a mouthful. Anyways guys, here we are. Very large abandoned house built in the 1950s and not updated or upgraded ever since. So let's get right to it guys. Cue that music. Cue the intro. See you guys on the other side. Okay guys, let's get right to it. We're looking at a wall that has a bit of a reflection on it. So I'm gonna very sneakily pan across to the main room, the main front living room area. This room is huge, guys. Check out this very, very fancy chandelier. Guessing this where we're standing right now would have once been a uh, dining room area with a table. Now the uh, Carpet is gone, but most of the house still remains. So check out this huge window lighting up the entire front room, guys. This is just insane. It lights up from the left side all the way through the middle, all the way to these windows on the right side. You've also got the front door here with more window. Very, uh, very, very sexy looking embellishment here on the window. But you want to talk about sexy guys, let's go into this bathroom. This is one of the sexiest bathrooms I've ever seen in an abandoned house. You walk in to this pink curtain, all frilly, and you've got pink, shiny, floral print wallpaper on the ceiling and on the walls. You've got these very sexy lighting fixtures. Then you've got my very sexy reflection in the mirror. What's up guys? And then you go down here to the toilet and oh yeah, the lights go on. Look at that, we have power, guys. The toilet has a very sexy, frilly little thing around it. And then we back up a little bit and you've got the, uh, the mid-century countertop and it kind of uh, has an angle forward. If I go this way, you can see that it's not a flat front. It actually angles forward. But this is one of the most unique bathrooms that I've ever seen. What's up, guys? So let's move on here from this part. I'll come on over here to the corner of the front of the house and I'll just give you guys a pan around and show you the room. And then we're gonna go right to the middle here. All right, so now we're right in the middle of the room. There you go. Then you can go straight to this little tiny hallway here. But before we go to the hallway, we're gonna make a right turn. We're gonna go this way up into the kitchen show you guys the kitchen very white very plain so here's a light fixture on the ceiling and uh yeah it's a very very old decorated house that clearly has not been updated for such a long time everything's white very very white now there is a dishwasher a little bit more modern but uh just check it out it's so simple right there's your uh there's an oven, and then you've got another oven and a stove right there. Countertop, stove top right here. What's here? Oh, okay, I see, all right. So that is the kitchen, guys. Now we'll go back to where we were, and we'll go back down that hallway, all right? There's a big surprise down in one of these rooms. So you come on down the hallway and look at this guys inside here. This is the kind of TV that they watch the moon landing on, right? Way back in the day. Check this out. Is that not screaming mid-century right there or what? Maybe I'm wrong, but I think I'm not. Check it out, eh? You got a speaker up here. You got your television built right in. Man, oh man. Anything in there? Nope. Okay this what's this thing guys is this the volume oh i bet you that's the volume for the tv for that speaker there huh okay okay guys do these open look at this look at this these are drawers guys wow this thing's really neat i really like this Want to stare at it a little bit longer? <laughs> okay, 
Moving right along, guys, we're going to head over to the upstairs now. Got a couple of rooms up here. Here we got a chandelier right there. And you've got some peeling paint on the ceiling. Starting to come down. So this room here is interesting because the carpet is disgusting. But you can see where the bed used to be. Right? Look at that. So dirty. So dirty. The bathroom. Now look at this though. They painted these walls purple. And it has uh, fallen under the carpet. So it's leaving like a purple dust on the carpet. However, come on into this bathroom and look at this. We got mermaids, guys. Can you see that? There's a mermaid on the shower, on the shower door. Right there, there's two of them. Aren't those pretty? Speaking of pretty, hey, what's up, guys? Look at this. This is pretty neat. So here's this thing right here. And I'm like, hey, what the heck is this? I poke it, and there it is. That's where you keep your toothbrush and your toothpaste. And then when you're done, you hide it. And then, guess what, guys? Come on over here to this side. We got another one. Toothbrush, toothpaste, stuff. Hide it when you don't need it. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. Speaking of cool, what's up, guys? Pink toilet. Okay. All right. Moving right along. Let's get a nice uh, pan of that. Hey, let's get a pan of that bathroom. I like that bathroom. This house has a very cool bathrooms. There's another one coming up in a moment. And head over this way. And there's just two plain uh, bedrooms here. Nothing much to them. Just the bedroom with a closet. Goes into the next bedroom. You can go visit your brother or your sister in the next room. So we're going to go over to that room now. But uh, nothing much to these rooms, guys. They do have a balcony. You can go out your bedroom door and stand on your balcony if you like. Both rooms have it. Actually, all three rooms up here have that. And then check out this bathroom, guys. You're going to love this. Holy cow. Another one of those bathrooms with the, uh, the leaning forward style. I'm sure there's a name for that, but I don't freaking know. We got some green curtains here. Green bathroom curtains followed by green bathroom wallpaper that continues itself up onto this vent right here and on the ceiling. Very strange guys, very odd. Speaking of strange and odd, hey, what's up guys? So you got one of these things here again, I got another one to put it away. All right, we're gonna put that away. And then we've got, uh, do we have water in this house guys? Nope, no water, no water. But there's your green sink. And then you've got a little bit of a separator, a privacy separator between the toilet and the bathtub. In case one of you wants to use the toilet and one of you wants to use the bathtub, I guess. What's this? It's like, tile's cracked. Hey, see that? Tile's cracked. Pink tiles and green wallpaper. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's uh, see where we've been here, guys. We've done the main floor. We've done the main room, we've done the TV room, we've done the kitchen, came up here, we did the bathroom and the bedrooms. So now we go down to the basement, which is very curious, guys, when you get down to the basement. We're going to talk about this for a minute when we get down here. Because, well, so they ripped out all the carpets, so there's no carpets, but this room here definitely used to be an entertaining recreation room. Judging by these lights and their placement, Plus the fact that there's plumbing here. There definitely used to be a bar here. You could actually see the shape in the floor of where the bar was. So they would have done some entertaining down here, guys. So there would have been a bar, maybe even a pool table in this room. Speaking of mid-century, check out this uh, staircase here and the railing. That's something, eh? That's a really nice looking old staircase right there. Take a deep breath because I'm talking a lot. And we've got a room back here. I don't know, probably a bedroom. You got the floor is, uh, is warped and lift, lifting up off the uh, foundation. 
And then there's this room, which is so strange. There's a little door there and a curtain. And then there's these lights, which are hanging really low. But judging from the, the, uh, these things right here, these would have been hung from the ceiling, so they weren't always down that low. But this room is very badly decaying. Speaking of very badly decaying, we're going to move on to the basement section of this house, which is in extremely bad shape compared to the rest of the house. Go down here. Now check out this little kitchen, okay? A wee little kitchen. You got this door that comes down these stairs here. Tiny little stove. Little tiny shelves. And it's all like badly, badly peeling paint, decay, wet rot. You've got plaster on the floor. This room is so much worse than any other room in the house. It's so weird. And we've got another room here. Lots of uh, water damage right here in the corner. Surprised all of the... Um, the copper's still here. Nobody's come in to steal the copper yet. Looks like somebody thought about it. They cut holes in the wall, but the copper's all still here. This bathroom's awesome. This is the last bathroom, and every bathroom in this house is really cool. So this one's really yellow, and uh, all of the paint's peeling off, so it's all over the place. There's a radiator there, or radiator, if you will. There's your sink. Quick, what's up, guys? Here, hey, do these here turn? Nope. See, these ones here don't do that. Anyways, where were we? What's up, guys? Yellow bathroom. And as you can see, yes, there is power. The lights are turned on, which is very interesting for such an old house like this. And then we come back here, and there's like another little kitchen room. Maybe this was the laundry room. Yeah. So that would have been your washer and dryer right there. And this would have been the laundry room, guys. This thing here has been beeping at me all day since I got here. All right, so I think we've seen it all, guys. Be right back. Okay, guys, we're gonna cut it here. No panning shots, nothing fancy. Hope you guys have liked this one. I do have a favor to ask of you, my very loyal and beloved followers. There's a link down below and up here in the corner. Where is it, that corner? To my other channel. It's called Freaktography Raw. That is where I post sneak previews of these videos and I also use, do a lot of YouTube shorts. On that channel, I publish very short form content from one minute to five minutes, very short snippets of old explorers or sneak previews of videos that are coming to this channel. Do me a huge favor, guys. Help me to grow that channel. Go to that channel, subscribe, and start watching my videos that help me boost and grow that channel. And this video, like, comment, share, subscribe. Guys, it's so cold. I gotta go, I got my gloves on. Gotta go get a coffee, it's freezing out today. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.